Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Today we wanted to share how to manage your job search using Notion. There are so many job search platforms these days that can be hard to keep track of all of them. It also provides a way to keep all of your job search documents in one central place. We'll go over how to download our template from Gumroad at the end of the video. When you first download our template, you'll see the following sections. In quick links, you'll see companies where you can record your company database. In contacts, you can store all potential contacts relating to the recruiting process. Profiles and documents is where you can store information relating to your profile, certifications, and personal documents. This makes it easier to refer to later on. Resources is where you can keep tips and tricks relating to landing the perfect job that you can clip from the internet. The current resume and cover letter section is where you can embed your latest versions of your resume and cover letter. The online shared to web resume and cover letter section is where you can share your Notion resume online. Application section is where you would manage all of your applications. Calendar and to-do includes a task list in a calendar view or board view. The company's database records all information about your potential recruiting companies. For example, they could be Google, YouTube, Amazon, or Meta. The database currently has two views, list view and gallery view. To add a new company, click plus new and you'll find a built-in sub-template called new company on each page. This built-in template visualizes the number of applications you have worked on to apply for this company and a list of contacts currently working or used to work there. You can also gather research information relating to the company here. The contacts database records information about your network contacts. We designed the database to include the data we thought would be relevant and necessary for each contact. We sometimes forget what people look like, so we thought a gallery view could also be useful. To customize the display of these properties in the main gallery view, go to the three dots, go to properties, show or display the properties you want to see in the main view. The Profile and Documents database keeps your data and relevant documents in one place. To add a new section, click plus new. Currently, the database has the following sections. Now you don't have to fumble through all your computer files to make your job applications. There are certifications, such as certificates and diplomas, documents, personal information, professional portraits, reference letters, resumes, and work experience. We recommend you to use Notion's Web Clipper to record nice tips and tricks relating to the job application process. Examples of resources can be tips to ace an interview, to prepare a top-notch resume, email templates, and so on. We'll include the link to our Notion Web Clipper tutorial in the description. The application database records all information related to job application, including application name, company, contacts, position, due date, posting URL, application, attached files, and application stage. Add plus new to the specific due date on the calendar. You can categorize your to-do list as you wish or follow what we have set up in the system. The current categories are job application, job fair, recruitment events, and others. You can share your Notion resume or cover letter publicly by going to the share button and turn on share to web. Click show link options and customize the settings according to your needs. Turn on allow editing and allow comments if you want your friends, mentors, or colleagues to edit and comment on your drafts. If this is your final version that you want to publish online, make sure to turn off these two functions. Turn off allow duplicate as templates unless you want your friends, mentors, or colleagues to have the same template that you can use later. However, we believe each CV should be personally customized, so we do not recommend turning on this function. When you're ready, click copy web link and post online. If you're on a plus plan, you can register for your domain name and the link is search engine indexable. If you want to turn this resume or CV into a fully functioning website, various tools can help you create a landing page based on a Notion site. We will introduce these tools later. A PDF version of your resume is almost a compulsory requirement for any job application. Did you know that you can export a PDF from the Notion resume template? Simply follow these steps to export your resume. Go to the three dots on the top right of the page. Click Export. Choose Export Format as PDF. Choose Page Format. We recommend A4. 
Choose a scale percent. This is up to your resume content. Sometimes the scale percent would go down to 50 to 60% to fit all content in a one page resume. On the other hand, if you have a lot of work experience, projects, education content, and skills, and the companies accept a two page resume, adjust the scale percent accordingly. We recommend you to customize our template to fit your unique personalities and your visual preference. Icons and cover photos are an incredible way to set your template's theme. Be sure to find the right icon so that you feel motivated to use the template on a regular basis. Check out our full icon tutorial and cover photo tutorial. Links in the description. To get started with using this Job Hunt Tracker Notion template, you'll need a Notion account and download from our website using Gumroad. We'll provide the links in the description of the video. Click the Gumroad button and fill in the information. Once it's filled in, you'll get redirected to the template or receive a link through your email. Click the Duplicate button. You'll need to either log into your Notion account or it may redirect you automatically. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about how to track your job search using Notion. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Subscribe to us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.